Hi y'all, I'm back. And yes, I have a different look. Why? Because why not? I can. Okay. <laughs> so I want to talk to y'all today about, okay, so, so many women have low self-esteem and have trouble finding a man or keeping a man or keeping a man's attention and they just don't know what to do. Well, men are visual creatures. And when I say men are visual creatures, I'm not lying. Men are visual creatures. So as you can see how I change it up from time to time and I look like a totally different person, sometimes men like that. Sometimes men get excited when a woman looks totally different than what they normally look like all the time because let's face it men look at other women men like to look at other women men like to fantasize about being with another type of woman another uh, another um, race of woman another stature or size of woman they all do and we know that <clears throat> let's just get that out the way so don't deny it don't deny it okay so in order to keep a man's attention you got to switch it up a lot. Even if it just means, you know, switching up your hairstyle, your makeup, your perfume, your clothing. Just switch it up. Have a variety. Don't stick to the same old, you know, look. Have something that's exciting that you can pull out your closet every now and then, you know. And that's just in general. You don't even have to be with somebody because... People will notice you anyway, you know. You might be passing the man of your dreams by every day, but he won't look at you because he doesn't like redheads. So let's just say you put on a, a, a black wig or a blonde wig or a brown wig and you walk by the same guy every day and he stops and talks to you. And he's like, hi, how are you? My name is whatever. And, you know, just because you had the wrong hair color you were missing the man in your dreams and you that might not even be your real hair color like the red <laughs> you might have just been experimenting you know so change it up and see how your look changes because things can't stay the same you know people will pass you by every day and they say oh that's that lady with the you know the red hair and the black clothes and I see her every day, blah, 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 blah. But you come in looking like this, like, oh my. You know, or with another color wig on, like black or blue, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. Whatever your preference is, something different. Okay, so you come in looking different and they're like taken back. And they then, then, then they really want to look at you. Then they're like checking you out. So a lot of times we get stuck in this rut where... We don't change what we look like. We don't change what we do. We wear the same color nail polish. We get the same, we, we put the same old boring makeup on every day. Brown up here, berry or nude here, a little pink on the cheeks and that's it. And then we're good to go. You know, that's fine for like when you're in a rush and don't have anything to do. If you're already married and like, you know, I already got everything I want in life. I don't, I'm not looking for no man. I'm not looking for nothing. So I just don't care. And even then, you still need to care, but I'm just saying, if you're out and you're single and you want to attract someone who's, you know, exciting, then you have to look exciting. You have to look like, oh, I want to take her out and show her out to my friends. You can't be all raggedy. You got to have your nails done. You got to smell good. Get you some perfume, child. This is my like favorite perfume right now at the moment. This is Queen by Queen Ativa. You got to smell good when you walk by so he remembers you. You can't just walk by and smell like, you know, burnt hair. <laughs> if you've been using like a curling iron. You know, that's the worst thing. Like, I hate that. When I walk by somebody and they smell like burnt hair or smoke. Y'all got to get some perfume, some lotion, something to look at, something to smell. Like, turn on the senses. That's what, we, that's what we're here for. We're humans, you know. Turn on the senses and people. You know, give them something to look at. Get them some, give them something to look at. Go on YouTube, look up makeup tutorials, figure out, figure out something. Because a lot of times there are beautiful women hidden under low self-esteem because they're afraid to try something new. Now, I'm not the most beautiful person in the world, but I will attempt to try a new makeup look. 
I will attempt to put on some press on nails every now and then or paint my own nails um, I will attempt to put some makeup on my face that's different than the makeup that everyone else wears or you know I will attempt to do something with my hair that's different from time to time you know I will attempt to find an outfit not this one but the, I will attempt to find an outfit that you know is different and you know kind of cute just because I know I've been married so long I know that if I was a man I'm not even thinking about my husband. I was like, if I was a man, I would be so bored coming home and looking at myself every day because I get bored looking at myself in the mirror every day. I'm like, you know what? I, that's when you get the urge. Oh, I want to color my hair. I want to cut my hair. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. Instead of doing all that crazy stuff, I just go get the wigs and the makeup and I go play and experiment and I have fun and it boosts your self-esteem just to see all the different looks you can actually acquire. So, you know, and then, like, you know, when your man comes home, he's super excited because now he thinks he has a new woman and he's ready to go. You know, he's like, okay, oh, I love what you did to yourself. You should wear that more often or you smell really good today or, you know, stuff like that, you know. And he's going to notice the difference unless you just do something so subtle that no one ever going to know. You got you to gotta go all out. Okay, and we spend money on silly stuff all day long. You know, you can go, you can go get a bunch of makeup for super cheap, like at the Dollar Tree or Elf. You can get cheap makeup for Elf. Like all, most of this stuff is Elf. All my face, Elf, except for the foundation. Um, this wig was super cheap. It was like less than twenty dollars, I think. <laughs> and I cut it and styled it myself because. Like, if you want, okay, let me give y'all a tip. If y'all want a wig and it's the, the style that you like is very expensive, just buy the cheap wig that you want in the color and then go home and cut it yourself. Like, there's so many YouTube video tutorials on how to cut a wig. You just put it on your head and go, that's it. Okay. <laughs> um, but I'm saying put some effort into what you look like. Men are visual creatures. They like to look as many times people say oh it's a what's the inside that counts and oh you gotta look pretty you gotta I mean you, you don't have to look pretty to get a decent man um that shouldn't matter but it does y'all know it does y'all know that men will always look the other way when a pretty woman passes and even if he's with you and if he doesn't he really wants to so you have to be that pretty woman you have to be that woman that's that keeps his attention you know you got to try. You got to do something, you know, that can compete, you know, because, you know, if, let me tell y'all the secret. When a pretty woman sees a man with a, a so-so woman or a woman that looks drab and blah, 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 she automatically knows that he's going to look at her and that he's secretly admiring her because his woman or his wife is boring and unattractive. Now, she already knows that she can take him if she wants to. If she wants to. And the thing is, some women will try. Some women will just feel sorry and keep walking. And some women will, like, actually flirt back and try it right in front of the woman. Because a lot of women are just, you know, kind of mean like that. But that shouldn't happen to people. You know, if you're going to go out in public with your man, you have to represent him too. You have to represent like a status, you know, that's, you get treated better as a couple. You get more, uh, believe it or not, if when you go out and you look your best with your man, you get treated a lot better. You get compliments, you get better treatment at the restaurants. You know, a lot of women have this, this weird problem going out looking like they rolled out the bed and I don't understand that. Mm -mm. If somebody offers to take you somewhere, go and put something on that looks decent. Go and put some makeup on. Go and fix your hair. Do something. Don't just roll out the bed and say, okay, let's go. No, because, you know, even though they might not say it to you, they really want you to do something with yourself, you know? They don't, they want, they want you to represent them. They want people to say, oh, he's with a really beautiful woman or 
his woman looks really pretty today. You know, not everybody's the most gorgeous woman in the world, but you can you can attempt to enhance your features on what you already have, you know. So even if you don't wear makeup, if you're not one of these type of women that wear makeup and hair and stuff like that, and you're very natural, which I am too at times then just put like some gloss on your lips, wash your face, put some mascara on, you know, uh, fix your hair to where it's nice, neat and presentable, put some good smelling perfume on, you know, uh, I don't know if you do your nails or not, but put some pretty jewelry on, uh, just enhance your features, some nice earrings or something, don't just go out looking like you could be, uh, <laughs> You know, a lot of times I'm I'm not I'm just being honest, y'all. Okay, y'all know I'm always honest with you. A lot of times these women who are like very 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 natural, sometimes men mistake them for being lesbians, and even though they're not lesbians, because, and I'm not saying anything against lesbians because there's some fierce lesbians out there. I'm saying that if you are if you have no femininity with your natural look, you need to add some. You know, pluck your eyebrows, um, put some nail polish on, even if it's clear, put some lip gloss on, uh, even if it's clear, just something to add a more feminine touch. Because I've seen so many women who look natural and have that natural look. I thought they were lesbians and they weren't. And I was surprised. I was like, oh, you're married. Oh, you know, you like guys. Because I'm not trying to stereotype because they did look very masculine because they did not put too much effort into looking feminine. So if I, that's that was just like a little tip because a lot of a lot of these women, you know, they do look a little masculine, even though they're not trying to, because everyone knows what a woman looks like with no makeup on. I mean, if I snatched this wig off and <laughs> took off all this makeup, I would look like somebody's maid. Okay, I'm not playing. I really would. I would look like you would want to take me anywhere. Like you, you would be like, uh, can you go do something with yourself? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Or you'd be like, uh, it's really sunny outside. Why don't you grab your sunglasses? <laughs> on the DL, they'd be trying to tell me to put something on my face, basically. Okay. And a lot of men say, well, I don't like all that makeup on women. But then, as soon as your girl has no makeup on and y'all are out and about and some girl full of weave and full of wigs and full of makeup walks by you're looking straight up in her face so don't let those guys fool you they like it they like it they just don't like it so much to whereas when you get home and take all that stuff off you're a monster no <laughs> if you if you do makeup don't put on a mask you know enhance the features that you already have you know and you know I think I said this is another video. Have a picture of what you really look like on the day-to-day -day in your phone. And just, you know, post it on Facebook every now and then so people know what you really look like. That way, they can't you can't say you fooled them. <laughs> like I have so many different looks. I'm like, "You know what? This is my Instagram, y'all. I'm going to show y'all all my looks." Look at that. Okay, I'm going to show y'all my real look. This is what I look like most of the time. Okay? Y'all know that. Y'all watch my videos. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I just like to look different every now and then. Now, this is me when I told you that y'all would tell me to stay home or put some sunglasses on. This is me looking crazy. Okay? I would never leave my house looking like this. I'm in my backyard. <laughs> so, yes, put something on your face. Put something on your body. Put something on your hair. And don't just expect men to fall in love with your personality that they're never going to find because they're visual creatures. Okay? You got to lure them in. A, a long time ago, they used to call makeup and wigs and all that stuff. They used to, they, they used to call it a form of witchcraft. <laughs> but that's because it works okay i'll see y'all later bye